Hello, I'm Alex Smith and welcome to Get Smart My Digital Book. This Get Smart My Digital Book has the student's book, the workbook and the extra book. The extra book is only available in digital format. You access the books from the books tab. Open a book, open a unit and go to the page you want. Now let me show you some of the icons you'll be using. This is the audio icon to access the listening exercises. You can also read the transcript while listening to the recording. This is the interactive exercise icon. Touch this icon to access the interactive exercises or the karaoke activities. This is Luca. Touch the video icon to access the video material. The population. At the bottom of each page is a page link. Touch this icon to go to the corresponding page in the workbook. From the vocabulary page, you can also go to the corresponding picture dictionary and back again. You can also move between books by using this button. You can move from a page in the student's book to the corresponding page in the workbook and also back again. In the teacher's edition, touch the answer key icon to show the answers to any exercise. Now, let me take you through Unit 1. On the first page of the unit, using the audio icons, you can access both versions of the presentation dialog. You also have a karaoke version of the presentation dialog. The students can follow the dialogue and repeat it. There is also an interactive version of the glossary. Let's just complete this. When you've finished an activity, click on Check Answers. There is also an interactive version of the comprehension exercise. Let's just complete this activity. See, it's very easy to use. And again, just click Check Answers. On the first page, on the teacher's version, there is also a Reveal the Photo function and you can listen to the dialogue with the dialogue actually covered up. On the vocabulary page, there is always a matching activity. For example, in Unit 1, students match national flags to the names of the countries. And in Exercise 2, students match countries to nationalities. You can listen and check the answers by using the audio icons. To turn the page, you can go back to the Books tab and choose the next page. Or you can use these arrows to take you forward or backwards. Or you can use the keyboard like this 
to go to any page in the book. On the grammar pages, there is at least one interactive activity for each grammar point. For example, in Unit 1, exercises 2, 3, 5, 6 and 8 are all interactive. In Unit 1, you also have the audio for exercises 3, exercises 5 and exercise 8. On the teacher's version, all the grammar tables are interactive. You can touch the screen to reveal the contents of the table. At the end of each page of grammar, there is a page link to the corresponding page in the workbook where you can find more interactive grammar exercises. On the third page of grammar, the main exercise is interactive. In this case, the students choose the correct word to complete the questions. This page link will take you to the Grammar Roundup page in the workbook where you can find more interactive grammar exercises. At the bottom of this page, there is a pronunciation topic for each unit with audio and an interactive exercise. On the functions page, touch this video icon to access the complete functions episode with the cultural introduction, the functions dialogue and the interviews with British school students. Touch the video icon with the functions dialogue to go straight to the functions dialogue with comprehension questions. Hi. Hi. What's your name? My name's Paul. How old are you? I'm 14. You also have a karaoke version of the functions dialogue. Hi. Hi. What's your name? My name's Paul. How old are you? I'm 14. And all the audio with the functions exercises. You also have an interactive version of the functions comprehension exercise. On the skills pages, you can find interactive versions of the reading and listening activities. You can also access all the audio. In Unit 1, there are interactive versions of Exercise 1, Exercise 2, and Exercise 3. A workbook unit has lots of interactive exercises, dialogue work, karaoke versions of the presentation of functions dialogue and the functions DVD material. There are lots of interactive grammar exercises in the workbook. In workbook unit 1, exercises 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7 and 8 are all interactive. There are two more interactive exercises on the Grammar Roundup page. In the Culture Bank, touch the video icon at the bottom of the page to watch the Culture Bank videos. In each picture dictionary, there are interactive vocabulary exercises. In 
Each picture dictionary also has a flashcards activity with audio and illustrations. Wolf. This is the resources tab. Here you can find all the resources and extra material which come with Get Smart, my digital book. The student's book and workbook audio. The extra book audio. The videos. The word lists. The dictionary activities. Five interactive dictionary exercises for use with the Dictionario Oxford study. You can also access the books through the resources tab. There is also recupero material and extra resources like the alphabet, numbers, pronunciation chart and interactive clock. Here we have the external links to the Espansione online and here we have articles for students from the Mary Glasgow magazines. And these are the help files for my digital book. The resources on the teacher's version will also have all the audio transcripts for the student's book, the workbook and the extra book, all the video transcripts. It will also have all the teacher's notes and answer keys for all the extra material in the resources. There is also a Trinity Bank with practice tests for the Trinity speaking exams, grades 3 to 6, practice material for the Trinity writing exams, grades 0 and 1, and topic planners for the Trinity speaking exam and a Trinity exam information video with exam simulations. Get Smart My Digital Book is really very easy to use. I hope you and your students enjoy using it. Thank you.